morning to everyone present here. We are the Dominators Consultants and our team. Team has as a consultant of Prokhya Trista, Abhijat Pirala, Sam Goel, Pursuit Khanal and Abhid Lama. In the, context, in the context, we talk about, about us and area of specialization, problem what we have identified from the case. The VRIO framework and the cost estimates. We have multi-talented individuals in different uh, departments. Our previous clients are Walmart, Costco, Costco White Castle Burgers, and Mercury Hotels and Tesla. In close competition with KP, MG, and Luis Berger, we are working. Next. Our mission and visions. We centralize it around HRM and human resource, human resource management strategies, formation, and, com and we try to give you a competitive edge. We have been mentioned as one of the most innovative and fastest growing companies, companies around, the, around our competitors. Okay, the area of specialization we uh, designated uh, the departments accordingly. I'll be entering the HR, as the HR director. I'll be uh, taking over the recruitment process and management. Prakhat will be entering HR business partner as performance management. Sam Goyle will be entering our reward management system. <coughs> Paul Sarat will be entering. Uh, and Ajit Lama will assist us to the presentation. The problems which we have identified uh, from your company are the lack of performance review. You do not have a good performance appraisal. You, uh, you do not have a good performance appraisal. You have unheard and keep the employee's voice low, which means that the communication level inside the low level of uh, low level of employees to management is lacking. There is a lack in the proper reward management system. The quality of recruitment is really poor. High labor turnover is a main cause for poor performance in our company. Need for training in customer service is must, and the employees are not given enough value for their work. Now moving on to performance review to Ajit. Cafe Expresso, noted by the management and expressed by the workforce. Boxer and Purcell in 2013 said, Job performance is a function of ability, motivation, and workforce. Performance appraisal affects areas such as increasing communication upward and downward communication. So this way it helps us to work more as a team. We get to know each other and the interaction becomes better and leading to more efficiency and effectiveness. Employees are also educated about the shared objectives so that everyone knows what their job is and they know what's going on there from the upper level to the lower level as well. Before moving on to performance management cycle, uh, let me see. We all know in order for a business to be successful, this is important, the mind, but in the heart. And that's what we do. We focus on art as well uh, on art more than the mind. So, performance management cycle, which is used for better performance appraisal. So the first thing we need to do is plan. We need to plan and set out our goals so that our employees know what to do. And the plan must be challenging, but as well as it must also be achievable. And for the plan to work, it also requires focus both on what is to be achieved and how it is to be achieved. After planning, we move on to acting, monitoring, and support. So we need to develop the individuals. The second stage of a basic performance management cycle is the development of individuals' expertise and potential. It should focus both on improving the current expertise and also allowing new skills to do that. 
Um, the employees involved who need training in the aspects are senior managers, human resource specialists, line managers, and all employees for future. We will be using the successful pro performance management framework uh, by Duncan Bond and Wendy Gersh. Um, the successful performance management framework. First thing, we need to keep things simple so that it's easier for everyone to understand. And second is getting strategic. strategic. It needs to stop treating it as a process and focus more in a controlled manner. Now moving on to one of the more main focuses of the problem is the employee voice, the honored employee voice. Is one of the aspects of the dissatisfaction which has been uh, <coughs> set out, found out by Marcus Mitchell in the recent in the recent <coughs> survey which is took on the employees. The thing about employee voice is that when employee voice, voice is heard, it also increases the productivity within the organizations. Employee voice is basically the two-way communication which takes between the employee and the employer. So the it basically occurs in decision making activities when there is decentralization, decentralizing of decision making patterns where employee gives their opinions, their views, uh, and their opinions and views in certain decision making activities. And the manager takes uh, notes it and criticizes it and uh, praises it according according to the accordingly. The the. In, when employee voice is heard, it increases the psychological contact between the employee and the employer. It is the unseen affection or the unseen contact which is shown by an individual towards the organization. It also develops the organization citizenship behavior. Now moving on to Sham Goy. Good morning everyone. As being the HR advisor for the nominator consultancy, I would like to talk about the rewards. As rewards being the main important factor from which we can motivate the employees. So rewards are more, um, basically the monetary, non-monetary and the psychological payments and in the company pays to the employees in behalf of the work it has performed. There are three types of rewards. The first one is the financial or the monetary reward. The second one can be non-financial and non-monetary reward. And the third one is benefits in kind. The first one, financial, can be the cash payments. And the uh, second one, non-monetary rewards can be the paid vacations. Third one can be the benefits and can 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 we can be like uh, seen other barista coffee shops and all. <coughs> I would like to recommend few reward systems. The first one is to change the incentive policies used right now. Give discount cards to the employees. The second one is the health insurance. The third one is the variations in the salary of employees according to their work experience. The fourth one is to motivate the students see or uh, the no motivate the students of Cafe Expresso. Uh, Expresso shall provide corporate jobs as management at the top level. They should be encouraged that uh, they should move on to the top le level of the management and share the bonuses equally among all the employees. As we look at the reward strategy in uh, Cafe Expresso, it's not the best. So Cafe Expresso shall be planning the reward strategy in advance. Next. Building profits by putting people. The first one is employment security. There should be an agreement between the employment employer and the employee so that they can't uh, leave their work before the uh, agreement time. The second one is selective hiring. Uh, hiring the best people at the right job. The third one is high pay contingent, and contingent on the perform, uh, company performance. And the fourth one is extensive training. That is a specialized training for the employees. Is the benefit for our own company. Reduction on status differences. There should not be any uh, differences between the employees so that they, disc uh, they uh, get demotivated coming to the job. And fourth one is sharing information. There should not be any hidden information in any sort of job. There should be equally uh, distributed. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the recruitment process. As we know, like the employees are the vice part of the organizations. And I'm going to recommend uh, point wise. Uh, CD needs to make a process of hiring through formal interviews. You need to take an interview. You can't, just can't hire anyone on the basis of word of mouth. Um, it means that uh, it is going to result on a bias, bias candidate. So, so the employee you're going to hire might not perform well. 
And we need to offer flexible co uh, content for long-term employees and the short-term employees, which are the students. The students are uh, only those who are right who are right for the role, not just important, but who will fit into the culture of the cafe expression. Now, to, we need to keep the record of the turnovers. So we need to identify what are the reasons for employees leaving our organizations. So we can stop, we can make an end to that and hear the problems of the of the current employees. And it's always better to keep your old employees than to hire new one because of the cost involved. And we focus on the constant training to give a is and a competitive advantage over our competitors. Now, process of, process of recruitment can be can be divided on the basis of three like uh, job role and job role and job uh, job and job or job role analysis, job description, personal specifications. Because there are need there's a need for a specialist to make a different varieties of copies which can be covered if you go through this process for recruitment. Key abilities like key abilities which will give you give you give a boost to your performance of your organization is must. So this is the basic of our competency. Okay, we have a, we have applied the competency framework of Tesco because we have the similar uh, labor market in uh, UK as UK uh, as Tesco is located in UK. So giving a, a simple example of uh, competency framework, customer focus. The higher, empl higher employees who are customer focused, who hear and who mingle with the with their customers, who are higher employees who are like uh, good at analytical decision making process. And hard employees who make uh, are, would like change, who are always excited towards giving change, uh, change and like implied in the organization. Hard employees who create and contribute on a uh, good moral inside the organization. Uh, be different and uh, reflect the local community. Uh, one of the uh, cafe especially is a diversity in uh, the workforce. Among 34% uh, of the students. Uh, 64% uh, are international students. For example, in uh, UK at Manchester, a local Indian community have opened a uh, coffee shop where they have people only the Indians, not rather than the local uh, British community people. Uh, the employee employee would be trained to communicate uh, in the uh, basis of the basis of the people. Uh, there are uh, two different types of uh, context: high context and uh, low context. Uh, high context uh, is uh, seen as the uh, ch China, uh, Korea, Japan, where uh, they communicate with the, the people while uh, offering the coffee by in a friendly environment. But in low context, uh, we can see the uh, uh, Germany, where uh, they do not uh, communicate, but rather they just focus on the business. Uh, Again, in this manner, uh, in this manner, it will uh, reflect the local community and uh, provide competitive advantage. Now, we have provided you with several recommendations, recommending on different aspects of the HR uh, issues. Now, you can question us: the will these recommendations work or not? So, we have run through the VRIO framework. Uh, VRIO framework is the uh, VRIO is the abbreviation of value, reality, immutability, and organization. So we've run through this, through all our recommendations to prove you that our recommendations will provide competitive advantage and will get uh, get the market share that is much needed for Cafe Express. So, so when talking about valuable, uh, valuable, how much valuable is the recommendation made for the company? I'm only going to talk about the cost estimates which we have presented. <coughs> First, we're gonna have a formal meeting with the CEO of the company. That is gonna we're gonna charge like 500 pounds for the first meeting, and reviewing current policies like uh, we have the charge for like we took it, took it like a day basis. We took it uh, 500 up per day. So we to identify the problems we are charging you 2,000 pounds for four days, and to make strategy formulation uh, strategy formulation to tackle your problems, we have allocated five days, and we are going to charge like 600 pounds per day. Uh, as we have like five members on our committee, that, that's why the charge is like uh, 600 pounds per day. Uh, that's, that equals to 3,000. And meeting with management for presenting uh, our views and recommendation to you is like 500 pounds. Do you have any questions you would like to answer?